boys and girls, it's Miss Kate and Henry out at Hudson Crossing Park. Do you remember last week when we talked about hibernation, which is when an animal sleeps all through winter and doesn't wake up until spring? And do you remember what our map turtles do? Called brumation, where they slow right down, but they don't quite fall asleep. They still move a little bit. Well, this week, we're going to talk about migration. And that is what our friends, the Canadian geese, do during the winter. Every year, some animals and even insects move their homes and travel long distances and then come back again. This is called migration. Sometimes they might move because they need more food they want to go have babies in a specific place, or, like this time of year, it gets cold and they are searching for warmer weather. Lots of different things migrate. Monarch butterflies head all the way to Mexico. Blue and gray whales swim thousands of miles to find warmer water. Hummingbirds fly south as do our friends Canadian geese. And you might even have a relative or a friend who migrates to Florida or a warmer part of the country to hide from winter. This time of year, all you have to do is step outside your house and odds are you'll be able to see or hear migration in action. The sound of Canadian geese talking to each other as they fly overhead is unmistakable. Lucky for us, the river and the canal give us a great spot to check out all these birds. While many Canadian geese fly south looking for warmer weather, Others are returning to the places that they were born to have babies of their own. And still other Canadian geese won't go too far south at all. In order to survive through winter, all they need is calm, open water where they can get plenty of food. They don't care about the cold as long as they can eat. Scientists still don't know exactly how all the animals that migrate know exactly where to go and how to find it year after year. But one thing never changes. When the weather begins to warm and spring arrives, they all come back home. Do you hear that, Henry? The geese are migrating. The next time you visit Hudson Crossing, or even step out into your backyard and see geese flying over, be sure to wave to them and wish them a happy trip, and let them know you'll see them in the spring. Maybe they'll even have some new friends to introduce us to. Well, boys and girls, I hope you had a lot of fun learning about migration this week. And I hope the next time you hear geese flying over or maybe even see them, you tell your parents or your friends all about what they're up to. Thanks for joining us. Have a great week. See you next time.